Car fam. Hope everybody's having an awesome day out there. As you guys just heard, Frostbite's got a two-step now, baby. Oh yeah, we got a two-step on Frostbite. So we broke down, we spent some money, guys, uh, and we put a two-step on Frostbite. Gotta have it with the trans brake. Gotta have it with this uh, new manual valve body deal from Cope Racing. And it's just gonna make our life much, much easier. We should be able to adjust the truck a lot better for traction and all that mess. Again, I'm not going to get into too involved with it right now um, with suspension and stuff, but we have a lot of stuff coming for the, sus for the rear suspension on Frostbite. Um, but the two-step is the first thing to the whole puzzle. And... Uh, And just real quick guys, so we have the Stage 6 Motorsports 2-step that I actually ordered from HHP. A lot of you guys know they have lots and lots of Hemi parts, lots and lots of stuff for the Mopar people out there. Um, but that is where I ordered the Stage 6 Motorsports 2-step that is on the truck currently. And what we're going to do real quick, I'm going to kind of go over um, the install process a little bit what it takes to put the two-step on the Hemi engines and it's pretty much the same across the board uh, Whether it's a 5.7 a 6.164 Hellcat, whatever it doesn't really matter. Uh, they're all pretty much the same um, So we're gonna do a quick little rundown what you got to do to install one I'm gonna go over the actual two-step device itself and show you what it does and uh, How to use it real quick and of course we'll do another two-step launch. I currently have the two-step set for 3,000 RPM and I have it wired to the trans brake button. So when I come to a stop, I mash the trans brake. It, and, and it engages my trans brake obviously so the truck won't move at all and I'll be able to floor the gas pedal completely without moving and then the two-step will engage at whatever RPM that I have it set to. So currently, like I said, I have it set to 3,000 RPM. So again, when I mash the trans brake button and I floor the gas pedal all the way down to the floor, the truck is gonna rev to the 3,000 RPM and it's gonna sit there and basically do the two-step. You know, best way to put it, it's like popcorn, misfiring kind of junk. And uh, I, I think it sounds pretty cool. A lot of people like them. But what it's doing is it's keeping our RPM at a set point. So when I let go of the button, the truck will unleash all hell and fury all at one time. So the trans brake will release, the two-step will release, and everything is go, go, go after that. Um, so it just gives us a lot more tuning capabilities to adjust to the track. Um, so say we got a re we got a really sticky track, um, we might be able to raise the two-step up. You know, we could say try to launch at five grand um, or more if we wanted to. Um, say the track sucks and it's not very sticky, we can lower that down to say 3,000, uh, 2,500, whatever it takes to try to get the truck out of the hole as quick as possible with as minimal wheel spin as possible. And that's pretty much what the job of a two-step is. Not to mention, you know, it lets you focus on the actual tree and the racing a lot more. Instead of watching gauges and all that crap, you can focus on the actual light and everything is just working with you and not against you. So that's kind of the point of a two-step. Um, not only that, a two-step with boosted vehicles uh, is also a nice feature. It will let you build boost while you're sitting still. And currently at 3000 RPM setting on the two-step, I can build about three pounds, a little more than three pounds of boost with my Torque Storm Supercharger sitting still at 3,000 RPM. Um, I've tried it at 5,000 RPM and it'll actually build up to about six pounds of boost, which is awesome. So it's gonna let us build a build boost sitting still and just make our life easier, guys. Not to mention, sounds badass. So real quick, I'm gonna go over the wiring uh, part of installing the two-step. So here we go. All right, so real quick, we're under the hood of Frostbite. This is where I mounted the actual two-step from Stage 6 Motorsports. This is the actual two-step itself. Nothing more than a little control box, kind of like my NX Easy Maximizer, uh, which is my little progressive. Pretty much the same size, same sort of deal. 
Now on these two steps, you can adjust your RPM by one thousandths or by one hundredths. Um, so basically what that means is say you can set it for 3,000 and 100 or 3,500 or whatever. Um, so pretty adjustable. On the back right here, on this one side, that is your settings. This one here is for the 1,000. This is for the hundreds. And it's just a little flathead dial. So you can use, you know, something real small like a little flathead screwdriver or your fingernail. Uh, can probably even get in there and turn them. But very easy to adjust the two-step RPM range. Other than that, you have three plugs. Now, there's different versions of this two-step. You have the version I went with, which is, it's the two-step and the original wiring harness that comes with it, which is the wire to your engine harness or your coil plug wires. And then they have... Uh, from HHP, there's actually a plug-and-play harness that's pretty expensive. It's it's almost 300 bucks just for the harness, but it does allow you to just plug and play, and it is it is much easier to do the plug-and-play method. Uh, there's no lying about that, but it is pretty pricey. Now, if you're not afraid to do a little wiring, these are pretty easy to install. It just takes a little bit of time to do it. Um, so how the wiring works, it, it's going to be kind of hard to see it right now because I got everything kind of covered up. Um, but you're going to have, for the wiring side, you're going to have a wire that taps into each ignition coil wire. And on the Hemi, that's going to be the blue wires with some sort of a stripe. Um, so <coughs> you're going to tap in on the harness side. They give you, as you can see, the harness splits. There's eight black wires and one, one black wire to each blue wire on the ignition coil wiring harness of the vehicle side right here. So you're going to tap in a blue, a black wire to the blue wire. Now on one side of the harness for the two-step it gives you a gray wire also. So you'll have one random gray wire and the gray wire it doesn't matter what coil it goes to it can go to any ignition coil but the gray wire will actually tap in to the positive side of the ignition coil. So it'll be the opposite of where the black wires are connecting to. Um, and again, the, the hardest part of this whole deal is just the time to unravel the factory harness tape and all that mess to get to the wiring to be able to tap into them. Now, there's many, many ways you can do this. Um, you could honestly the easiest way you could do this is you could use the little scotch pinch connectors to where you wouldn't have to say cut your wires or anything and you could pinch connect the two-step wires to the coils and that would work just fine um, the best and most permanent way would be to solder the wires to the ignition coils and that's what most people prefer to do um, i'm not gonna lie that's the way that I ended up going. And on one wire, the very back one there, you'll see the little red connector. On the back one, I used a pinch, a little scotch pinch connector because I could not get back there and solder that worth of crap. It's just too tight. Um, so I ended up doing a scotch pinch connector for the very back coil. Um, I don't have any fear of that being an issue at all, but what I'm saying is there's many ways to skin the cat here. You're just simply trying to tap in these black wires from the two-step to the negative side of each coil on the engine. And it's the same across all the Hemis. It doesn't matter, 5.7, the 6.1, 6.4s, whatever. The two-step installs the same on all of these Hemis. Um, so really not bad. Um, also, 
there is some people, if you get a wiring diagram, uh, some people actually tap in at the PCM. Instead of trying to fight with the coil wires on the engine, they'll actually wire it right here. As you can see, there's a lot of space right here, especially if you go through the fender down here. Uh, you got a lot of space. If you find out what exact wire for each coil is on the PCM over here, you can just wire it right into the harness side where the PCM is. Um, that is actually how Justin at Dr. Differential did it on his truck, is he wired it on this side right here uh, going up to the computer. And a lot of people's actually done it that way. <coughs> you just need a wire diagram to figure out exactly what wire you got to tap into. Um, but again, many ways you can do this and get the job done. Um, or you buy the harness. And the harness, like I said, I think the harness itself is like 279 bucks, And it plugs and plays where you don't have to tap into your coils and do any soldering or wiring or any of that stuff. It just pretty much plugs and plays. And then all you have to do is run your trigger wire um, for your activation. That would be about the only wiring you would have to do. So that's pretty much the wiring side of the two-step. Now we're going to go inside the truck here and um, not really going to be able to see a whole lot. But uh, So here's my shifter. This is from Cope Racing. And a lot of you guys know, follow my build. This is uh, John Cope's uh, 46RE swap. And this is a full manual, full manual reverse valve body, um, 46RE. And this shifter has two buttons. This is my lockup converter button. And then this is my trans brake button. The two step is wired to my trans brake button right here. So when I press down the trans brake button, it activates my trans brake and the two step at the same time. When I let go of the button, the two step goes off, the trans brake releases. Um, so it all works simultaneously, very, very easy, and that's how it works on my truck. Now, a lot of people can wire them. Uh, some, some people with automatics will wire them to, like, say, the brake pedal, and the, the instructions kind of go over how to wire it to the brake, uh, to the brake pedal. So it just kind of varies on application. Obviously, if you had a stick shift car, you would want to wire your activation switch to your clutch pedal. That way, when you press in the clutch, then you floor the gas pedal it's going to activate the two-step and it's going to hold the rpm at whatever setting you chose when you let go of the clutch the two-step will come off and the car is going to launch just like it should um, so again it depends on vehicles the setups and, and what all is going on with them for me you know i pretty much have a full-on race transmission with a trans brake so obviously i wired it to the trans brake and that's how i'm going to run it on frostbite Forgive me, I really, really wanted to do a full install of the ins of the two-step um, when we was putting it on the truck, but I really just wasn't up to the talking. Um, I don't know, a lot of people don't know, but actually about a week ago, I had to go get a, uh, a wisdom tooth removed up here on the top of my mouth. So the last week or so, I just haven't been very talkative. So videos have been kind of slim and it kind of messed up the install of this thing. Uh, granted, I worked through the, the, the pain of everything, getting it all put on because I wanted to get it on as soon as possible because um, we're going to try to hit the track here real soon and, and start testing everything out. Um, so I did not get an install video of it just because I just, I, I just could not talk through it at that time. But I needed to get it put on, so I got it put on. Um, hopefully, me telling you kind of how it wires up gets you through it. it, it's, it like I said, it's very simple. All the black wires on the two-step side are going to go to the negative side of the coil. Um, the coil wire, which on the Hemi on mine, was all the blue wires with a stripe. They're all the same, all the same wire, blue wire with a stripe. That's the negative side of the coils on the Hemi. And then the other would be, the other wire would be the positive. Um, so the one gray wire that's on the two-step harness, that wire wires to any ignition coil but it has to be the positive side of that coil. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to as far as wiring up the two-step. Um, and then obviously you gotta wire up your activation, your button, how you're gonna operate it. And that's, you know, that's gonna vary across different vehicles and uh, you know, what kind of what kind of setups they're running, whether it's automatic, a stick shift, uh, you know, a trans a manual tra a manual valve body automatic transmission like mine with a trans brake 
Um, so again, it, the activation set point of it's going to be kind of different between vehicles. Um, but quick little rundown. So I know you guys are dying to hear it again. So we're going to get in the truck here. I'm going to uh, start the truck up and we still have it set for 3000 and we're going to activate the two step. We're going to let it sit there and bang and pop for a minute. And then I'm going to let off the trans brake from Cope Racing and you're going to see the truck take off like a bat out of hell right here in my driveway. So we're about to wake up the whole neighborhood again. We've already had pretty much everybody out here watching, but uh, hell yeah, let's get it done. Let's hear this two-step, guys. So there you go Mopar fam, that's the stage 6 motorsports 2 step on frostbite. It is absolutely badass. Um, I can't get over the sound, it just sounds just freaking ungodly. Um, can't wait to get to the track and test this thing out on the track. In the driveway at 3000 with no burnout, eh, I mean it's, it's trying to hook but it's spinning for sure. So. But on the track, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get down, guys. Especially when we get all the suspension stuff coming for Frostbite. Um, that's going to be lots of install videos coming soon. Lots of new stuff. So definitely stay tuned for uh, the suspension stuff we have coming. Which we should have, hopefully, here in the next few days. So, uh, should have some unboxing on that very, very soon. Other thing I want to mention, guys, is um, I haven't m mentioned the merch store in a long time. Uh, I do have lots of new hoodies and shirts. This is actually one of them. Granted... Uh, never mind the YouTube thing. I'm sure y'all ain't gonna care about that. But the logo on the back, I have a lot of shirts with it. It's got the uh, it's got the Torque Storm Supercharger on it with the nitrous bottle, with the Ram head, Hemi hurting fillings on it. So I got lots of new designs with that logo on there. So go check out the store, see if you find something you like. That definitely helps support the channel as well. Um, so other than that, hope you guys love the two-step. I know I do. My son's in love with it as well. Um, video don't do it justice, I'm sure. It sounds just freaking beastly, guys. It sounds insane. Um, especially cranked up. Uh, we'll do another video probably another day. We'll turn it up to like five grand so you guys can hear it two-step at about five grand. And it is absolutely insane how loud. And uh, it's, it's just freaking nuts that's all i can say guys it's nuts um so heck yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button we'll see you on the next one peace